Today, I'm going to show you how to create your 1099s in the managed payroll that we offer. So you log in and you're going to, um, you probably see a determine if you need to file 1099s or complete your 1099s. That's what you're going to click on the link. First of all, I want to show you the two different forms. 1099 miscellaneous is now changed and it looks like this. This is the 1099 miscellaneous. They took the non-employee compensation off of this form. So this one you would use for rent or if, uh, any of the other items that are on this list. Then we have the 1099 uh, non-employee compensation. That's the new one that they've created for your subcontractors. There we go. <clears throat> 1099 non-employee compensation. So that's where you would use for most of all your subcontractors. So we're going to go ahead and complete the 1099 filing. When you click on the link, it's going to ask you to enter the information. So you're going to click on and enter your contractor's information. Uh, it's pretty simple to do. I'll go ahead and add another one. You have to decide if it's business or individual. If, if it's individual, you're going to use a social security number. If it is a company, you're going to use a federal ID number. And we're just going to create something here. You're going to put the address in. Pick your state. And then here's where you're going to decide on if it's not employee compensation or if it's the 1099. So if you click on that show all boxes, this is where you would put the non employee compensation, or if you were doing one for rent, you would put the rent in here. So we're just going to do non employee compensation. And we're going to say OK. Then you can add all that you need to add in here, as many as you want. When you get to this point, you click continue. It's going to come up with a place for you to accept this service. So go ahead and click that. Also note that if you paid anybody with a credit card, a debit card, gift card, third party network like PayPal, that you are not going to 1099 them through this system. You're only going to 1099 people that you either paid cash or wrote a check to. All the rest are going to be 1099 through the credit card merchant. When you're done with this, you click continue. Again, like I said, you click on agree to the service agreement. Here's where you can print for your contractors. Here's where you can print for your own records. You can also download them so you can send them via email if you'd like. Any way that you, you know, want to get them out to your contractors, then you're going to click continue again. Once you are complete, you will click submit. If you're not done or you think you might have to add more, you have until the end of February 1st to have them completely done. So, and then you have the NEC is done, needs to be done by February 1st. The 1099 miscellaneous needs to be done by March 31st. You have plenty of time to submit them. So only submit them when you know you're done. So at this point, you could just go back to your to-do page. And if you needed to come back in here again, you would click on this link. So that is it for the 1099s. If you have any questions, please feel free to give us a call. Thanks so much.